Hi, I'm a founder. Actually, a solopreneur of a website, gptrush.io. Basically, I handle all the stuff from front end, which I have zero knowledge of, back end marketing, etc. But I'm not alone. And by now, you could have guessed it. Yeah, I use AI to do some heavy lifting. At the start, I was a power user of ChatGPT. But I was doing most of the heavy lifting after it gave the code, as it contained a lot of bugs. But it all changed after the release of GPT-4 and GPT-4 Vision. No, not because it got better in coding, but now we could provide a visual feedback to GPT via the Vision model and achieve anything we want to build. But it comes with a hefty price tag of $20 per month. I even paid for it for a month. But it got over faster than I could think of. So I was looking for something which gives on-demand access to GPT-4 and GPT-4 Vision model. And that's when I decided to build GPT Rush. But wait, wait, wait. Before closing the video, thinking it's a sales pitch, which it's 40% it is, but I'm going to post my entire journey as blogs, where I will show you how I build the basic stuff to entire UI and backend stuff. We will build this together and see how GPT-4 Vision is uh, coming up with the uh, code and how we are will be able to improve the UI only using GPT-4 Vision and having a feedback loop. So without further ado, let's get started. But fair bit of warning, the current UI you will be seeing is very rudimentary and uh, we will uh, improve it as, uh, as the journey goes on and you will be watching it all uh, with me. So let me uh, start by trying to implement a basic feature of having a uh, file preview as and when we upload a file actually. Right, uh, so if you see uh, currently, if I upload a file, it's not shown anywhere. So let me uh, try and uh, asking GPT for Vision uh, to implement uh, this feature. And I already have a screenshot of uh, design inspiration that I already took from another chat uh, app. Uh, and I also have um, our current uh, chat interface uh, screenshot. So let me first uh, provide the chat interface that we have currently and also uh, provide our code uh, code of this website All right and let's change the model to gpt4 vision preview and uh, so we have actually uh, asked uh, the gpt4 vision to wait for my next prompt uh, this is because uh, currently we don't have the multi uh, multi file functionality so as and when uh, we move through this uh, journey, uh, I will try to implement those features. But as an uh, workaround, uh, we can give this uh, prompt actually. This is prompt engineering. So we just give this wait for my next prompt. Uh, now let's uh, go ahead and upload uh, the design inspiration that we have and ask it to modify our code. Which would have warned me. Image. Yeah, and now let's wait for the GPT-4 vision to compare both the images actually. And uh, let's see if it will come up with the code so that we could have the image preview uh, under the text area to be implemented. Yeah, and currently we have gotten the uh, code. Uh, let's copy this uh, setting of the states actually. I guess I just need this uh, image preview uh, code. Uh, rest all, I already have those things. Uh, let's paste those code. And handle file upload, send message, all those codes are there already. Right? And uh, let's also have this image preview code copied under the div.
All right. And when we already have our local host showing. And then let's just check. Yeah. It looks like I just forgot these codes. So let me copy the uh, lines also. And then let's paste it and handle file upload report that we already have. Yep. And you know, let's paste it. Thank you. So uh, we have our local first year. Uh, so hopefully uh, the bug should be fixed and let's try uh, looking if the feature is implemented. Actually, this is not quite what I wanted, uh, but still we are having a image preview and even a remove functionality, which is quite working. Now uh, let's try to improvise uh, these prompt uh, in our uh, GPT-4 and uh, see if we could um, implement the feature so that it is uh, right uh, below the text area. So now to fix the issue, uh, I have come up with a plan. Uh, so this is the prompt that we are going to give uh, to GPT-4 Vision uh, where uh, we'll be asking the uh, GPT-4 uh, to create a div which will look like a text area and then inside the div we will have a two division for uh, one for uh, text input and another for uh, bottom image and even in the prompt we are going to say that the bottom image should be displayed only if the uh, file is uploaded. And at the end, we are going to say that the layout should look like the screenshot provided. And once again, we will be uh, providing the uh, design inspiration uh, to the GPT-4 vision. Uh, and let's see how uh, we get the layout now. So now I have uh, pasted the prompt that we have uh, designed to fix the issue. And let's go ahead and upload the uh, design that we are looking for. Right? And this is the current uh, update that we have and we are looking to uh, place this preview inside the text box uh, and let's not forget to switch the model to GPT-4 vision preview, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have got the code, uh, now it's time to uh, implement this. So yeah, so I just implemented the uh, code that is provided by the GPT-4 uh, here. So we just uh, took the relevant uh, code that is required for us and modified uh, our text input area. Like we have removed the text input area and totally replaced it with a div and uh, which contains a uh, input uh, and image source uh, as a do here uh, but actually uh, this is the output that we have got um, so i think still a little bit of uh, refinement is still required but if we see now now we have the uh, input where the image is inside the text input area and you have a place to uh, enter text input uh, i think we have to just resize this uh, do so that it could um, fit and look better actually uh, so we can uh, uh, even uh, again use the gpt4 vision's uh, capability to uh, uh, fix this issue yeah so i have just uh, taken the screenshot of our uh, uh, interface how it looks currently now let's provide this feedback to our gpt4 vision model okay Well, uh, yep. Uh, and let's uh, actually, if you see, uh, it's not entirely the GPT four's fault because uh, the code that it has provided is a standalone uh, div. If you see, this is a written statement, but we have integrated this div inside a divs actually, so that's why it looks kind of cluttered. So what we can do is, uh, I'm just going to ask. Uh, I'm just going to provide the code that we have and uh, ask the GPT-4 to make it fill the space, all right? Uh, we have also uploaded the screenshot here. Yeah, so I think uh, it has given the code and I think it has uh, using flex 
uh, and other things. Uh, so let's uh, try and see if this modified code fixes the issue. Yeah. So let's go ahead and copy this entire form and just replace our current form with this and let's see how it looks yep i think it has solved the issue uh, but still i think a uh, few missing pieces is that uh, the, we need a white margin and uh, the image size it can be fixed even at the later stage but let's try uh, asking gpt4 uh, to put a white margin here yeah uh, so we are just going to ask that uh, the missing pieces where we need a white border and uh, we just have to make the image a little smaller and again we are going to provide the feedback uh, uh, by providing the image which we currently have right and let's see if we could uh, fix the issue yep I think it has made the modifications right now but yeah uh, let's just copy this code and uh, remove this uh, input and uh, image source element and replace it with the code that is provided by the GPT-4 and if we see here we have achieved uh, almost what we were looking for so I think I'm going to end uh, today's uh, session with here uh, so stay tuned for more updates and subscribe to GPT Rush channel and visit gptrush.io for on-demand access of uh, GPT-4 Vision and DALI-3 models and no more costly monthly subscriptions. Cheers!